Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to beef up Android security with a pin that changes over time. Now I'm sure we've all had that feeling that someone was looking over our shoulder while we were entering our pin, and depending on the type of friends you have, that may very well have been true. But paranoia aside, we unlock our phones dozens of times a day, and each time you do that, there's a chance that somebody might see. And the basic premise behind Android security is that once you get past the lock screen, you're in. You can fully wipe the device and not have to worry about factory reset protection, and you basically have unfettered access to everything on the phone. But what if your pin randomly changed throughout the day, and only you knew the pattern that was being used? It would definitely go a long way towards making everything a lot more secure. Well, that's the premise behind a brand new app called DroidLock, which uses contexts like time and date to automatically change your pin throughout the day. And to me, the best part about this one is that it's not a lock screen replacement app. It just changes your pin. So you keep your existing lock screen and all of its security, plus you get a little extra. Even better, this doesn't require root or exposed or anything like that. And it should work on the vast majority of devices. Now, Droid Lock is still in its beta testing phases, so it's not on the Google Play Store just yet. As a result, you'll need to sideload the app, which means you'll have to have unknown sources enabled in your phone's settings under security. Aside from that, setup will be easier if you already have a pin set as your lock screen security, so I'd recommend doing that before you get started. From there, the first thing you'll need to do is grab a copy of the Droid Lock APK, which you can find in step 1 in my full tutorial. Then, once the file is saved to your device, tap the download complete notification to launch it. From here, press install, then within a few seconds, you'll be ready to run through setup. Now when you first launch Droid Lock, you'll get this guided tour. The first thing it's going to ask is that you set up a master pin, which can be used as a fallback unlock code in certain circumstances, but it's mainly for locking the Droid Lock app itself. Once you've taken care of that, you'll be prompted to enter a security question in a recovery email address, which would be used if you ever forgot your master pin. From there, you'll need to give Droid Lock device administrator access, which is how it gets permission to change your pin. So tap activate here, and then do the same on the following menu. Next, if you're running Android 6.0 or higher, you'll have to manually grant a pair of additional permissions. But once you're done there, you'll be done with initial setup. At this point, you'll be taken to the app's main menu. From here, the first thing you should do is enable Joylock's main service. So toggle the switch at the top of the screen. Then this is where things start to get interesting. You have four main options as to what you want to base your automatic pin on. And those are time, date, battery, or geek. If you want to go with time, just toggle the first switch in this tab then choose whether you want 12 or 24 hour formatting, and from now on your pin will always be the same number you see on your clock. To make that a little less transparent, there are some other options underneath these that let you offset the pin to where it's always X digits ahead or behind the time, but those features require an in-app purchase. And the same stuff goes if you want to base your pin on the current date or the battery percentage, so it's entirely your call. But in my opinion, if you want a more complex contextual pin without buying the pro features, the best way to go is with this geek setting. Once you enable that one, tap set geek pin, and then you can use a combination of various factors. So for instance, the first two digits could be the date, and the second two digits could be the current hour, or however you want to set this up. But once you've got the automated rules set up to your liking, you're all set to go. One thing to note is that the first time you unlock your device after setting up Droid Lock, you'll have to use the master pin you set at the beginning. But from then on, your pin will change automatically based on the context you chose, and only you will know the pattern behind it all, which means that even if someone sees your current pin, that number won't unlock your device the next time around. So it's a great way to add an extra layer of security, and that by itself is always a huge plus. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.